Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie. Let's do a report card about Adam Engstrom. A year ago, the Montreal Canadiens took a bit of a gamble by selecting Adam Engstrom with the 92 end overall pick of the 2022 draft. Sure, the six foot two defenseman had shown promise with Jur Garden's J20 team, having already made his SHL debut and displaying some intriguing skills, even though he still had room for improvement to become a complete, well rounded player. Nonetheless, he was nowhere to be found on the vast majority of public draft boards, including ours. Fast forward one season, and it seems like the Canadians' gamble just might pay off. After signing with Rogel during the offseason, Engstrom quickly proved he was too talented for the junior ranks and eventually earned a full-time spot in the SHL. His role grew as the season progressed, culminating in averaging over 17 minutes per night during the quarterfinal series against Skellef T. Engstrom's progress didn't go unnoticed by the coaches of Sweden's U-20 team either. From only playing in a handful of unimportant games in the past, he earned significant minutes at the World Juniors, leading the team in points among defensemen. In many ways, Engstrom is still a raw prospect, possessing a bundle of skills ranging from solid to very good. However, clear progress has been made, and there's potential for even greater improvement in the upcoming season. The crown jewel of Engstrom's skill set is his skating ability. When he stepped into the SHL lineup this season, he was already an above-average skater, and he projects to be the same at the NHL level. His stride and posture are mechanically sound, and he displays above-average quickness. Thanks to his excellent skating, combined with an aggressive, play-killing mindset, rush defense became Engstrom's biggest strength during his rookie campaign. Taking matters into his own hands early on, he forced numerous breakups by maintaining a tight gap, redirecting attackers away from the middle, and stepping up on top of his blue line. From a statistical perspective, Engstrom already ranks among Rogel's top neutral zone defenders, and he easily outperformed his older and more highly regarded teammate, William Wallander, in head-to-head -head matchups. Engstrom impressively prevented almost 40% of all controlled entry attempts directed towards him while also forcing additional dump-ins. That same aggressive mindset carries over to the defensive zone, where Engstrom shows great potential for growth. Utilizing his skating as a defensive weapon, he covers ground quickly, establishes strong body positioning, and leverages his solid base. However, at times, this aggressiveness can lead him into trouble, as he tends to overcommit his full weight to one side, leaving the forward in front of him an opening to exploit. Craftier forwards were able to take advantage of this tendency regularly, often fooling Engstrom with quick fakes and cutbacks. Despite not consistently displaying high-end defensive intelligence during longer in-zone sequences, Engstrom still has the potential to become a serviceable NHL defender. He possesses the required physical tools to maintain rush defense as a strength and shows flashes of good reads in various areas, including retrievals and breakouts. Engstrom's puck-moving abilities were mostly highlighted in two ways. Firstly, when given space, he utilized his quickness and lateral agility to carry the puck out of the defensive zone effectively. Secondly, he converted rush breakups into counterattacks with swift cross-ice passes. However, Engstrom's decision-making and ability to handle back pressure weren't always on point. He sometimes opted for peculiar dump-outs even when higher-value plays were available, or he struggled to deliver passes with enough pace, resulting in missed opportunities and turnovers. This is reflected in the tracking data, as Engstrom's team retained possession on only 35% of his pressured exit attempts. The most intriguing question surrounding Engstrom is how his offensive abilities will translate to the SHL level. In 52 outings, combining regular season and playoffs, he already managed to tally 21 points, occasionally making appearances on the power play, and he seems poised for even greater offensive opportunities in the upcoming season. Engstrom's skating can serve as an offensive weapon when he chooses to utilize it. He effortlessly joins rushes and can turn rush breakups into potential scoring chances with just a few strides and crossovers. Along the boards, he effectively uses his deep base and impressive skating 
coaching prowess to create separation with well-executed cutbacks. Moreover, there are glimpses of impressive puck handling creativity and the possibility of possessing above average shooting skills. Angstrom's offensive moves don't always flow together seamlessly, and he is not yet a high-end offensive thinker or manipulator. Moments of deception do occur, but they only appear sporadically. However, despite this, he came remarkably close to matching Wallander's expected primary point output at 5-on-5 five five last season. With increased power playtime, Angstrom could aim to surpass the 0.5 points per game mark in the coming year. Thanks to his skating prowess, he will always have more offensive opportunities compared to the average SHL defenseman, as he already demonstrates a willingness to activate by pinching the zone or sneaking towards the slot through the weak side. In summary, Angstrom possesses the potential to become a full-time NHL contributor given the promising developmental curve he has shown over the past year. His skating is a valuable asset that can hold up even against NHL-level competition, and he exhibits many of the other physical tools required for success. With continued improvement in his in-zone defense, he has a reasonable path to securing a bottom-pairing role, benefiting from his already strong rush defense and solid retrievals. To elevate his game further and take on a more significant role, Engstrom will need to demonstrate higher-level reads in the offensive zone and particularly during transition plays, while also enhancing his decision-making under pressure. By effectively manipulating the forecheck and leveraging his skating as an advantage against back pressure, he might even be considered for a top-four role. Engstrom is bound to be one of the most intriguing drafted European prospects to watch in the 2023 to 2024 season. That's all my friends about Adam Engstrom. Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.